Hey guys, quick story for you. Back in 1999, when I started as an early industry sales associate knocking doors for a roofing company, I had $80,000 in graduate school loan debt, and that post-college job made me quickly realize I was never gonna make the big money I dreamed of, let alone get out of debt anytime soon. So I started looking around for a sales opportunity with unlimited income potential. In 1999, I left that job and started in sales, cold calling and knocking doors for a Minnesota-based general contracting company out of an old falling apart 3000 GT that didn't go in reverse. I didn't have enough money to fix that transmission, let alone get a new SUV or truck. I never pulled into that customer driveway because I was afraid they would see me have to push that car and go backward. The company I sold for didn't have folders, literature, so I'd go buy those cheap blue ones at Target and make my own. They didn't offer car magnets, they didn't have leads, or have much brand identity in the market. And all I had was temporary business cards my first 30 days. I remember my first ladder was a very complicated fold up with multiple sections that I had a lot of difficulty opening. Not only did I have to carry a bulky ladder all the way up that long driveway, it also took me several minutes to properly open each section and lock it. I started selling in 1999. There was a big hailstorm on May 15, 1998 in Minneapolis, Minnesota. But this is a year later when I started selling when all the good areas were sold or saturated. I'm 100% certain now that looking back in it, I look like a damn fool selling next to those real roofing trucks with much more experienced sales associates who had better equipment with great uniforms and great marketing literature. But at that time, I was just happy for an opportunity to get out of debt. I was hungry and hustled. I sold 3.2 million my first 1.5 years, making close to 400,000 sales commissions. Within six months, I was in a brand new Jeep Cherokee. And by the end of that year, I upgraded that first Cadillac Escalade SUV with TVs in it. By my second year, I bought my first house in Minnetonka, Minnesota and had a lot of nice furniture with a second rental property. This all happened in my first two years cold calling and selling as an early industry roofing sales associate. After two years as a sales associate, I evolved to become the owner entrepreneur, a Minnesota licensed general contractor, and launched my first office from the basement of my house in Minnetonka, Minnesota. We killed it and went on to open offices across 18 states and even a joint venture in Australia briefly, achieving 173 million in revenue over the next 12 years. I will never forget those early days of being hungry and hustling door to door on the streets of Minnesota and Chicago selling roofs. And I am still grateful for the opportunity this industry gave me as an early industry sales associate and later as the owner entrepreneur to get out of debt, upgrade my life, make my first million in EBITDA, not revenue, in the same calendar year. But it all started back in that crappy 3000 GT that didn't go in reverse. Broke with $80,000 of college debt and living in a studio apartment with nothing to my name, but the gift of gab, an ink pen, selling roofs, and a burning desire to improve my life. After a breakup with my business partner in 12 years, I wanted to do something different. I wanted to give back to the industry. In 2014, I knew nothing about book publishing, e-commerce, internet marketing, video production, virtual training, event planning and conferences, or filming and producing, and certainly not reality TV. But over the last six years, I wrote a book called Win the Game, launched an industry e-commerce consulting company for general contractors and roofing contractors called Storm Ventures Group. I produced and host an industry conference and trade show expo called the Win the Storm Conference. And I even launched a reality TV series called Contractor Rescue. I have launched high-tech products for the industry, SBGU Online Virtual Training and SBGU Virtual Reality to help train industry contractors and their teams in a now $100 billion roofing and storm restoration industry. I am excited to host the sixth anniversary of the annual gathering of the industry at the Wind of Storm Conference and Trade Show Expo on February 20 through 22, 2020 at the Phoenix Convention Center. So what does it mean to win a storm? The perfect storm doesn't only come from nature, it also comes from within. Being an entrepreneur, key manager, or sales associate in this industry can be both a lonely and difficult journey. When you don't have the right network, people, exposure, training, and tribe. For many years that tribe did not exist but it does now. We are gonna once again bring an entire industry of contractors and other industry entrepreneurs together, unveil the most revolutionary products and services this industry has ever seen, and make 2020 the year to scale it. Booyah, baby!